Hi friends, welcome to our tutorials. Today is the first part one of Angular material tutorial. We have been covering a lot of tutorials on Angular and a lot of you have been asking and searching for Angular material tutorials. So this is another live series. I'll continue to build on it and create a playlist for you. But for now, let's get started with the first part, which is installing Angular material in our project and start using it. Again, uh, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to keep supporting and encouraging me. If you have any questions or doubts, add them in the comment section and I will be happy to help you. Let's get started with part one of Angular material. All right, so I have my project directory open here and I am inside the project repo. So the first thing we do to install angular material in our angular project is running a command ng add at the rate angular slash material so this is the command we have to use and i believe you should have already installed angular cli in your angular project if you have not done it kindly check out my tutorials on how to install angular cli complete guide all right so let's get started and I'm adding Angular material to our project. So it will ask us to choose the kind of theme. So there are different themes that we can use. I'm going with Indigo Pink. Yes, we want to set up Hammer.js. We want to set up browser animation. And now it would install the required modules and packages. Let's give it a quick minute. While it is building friends, I again request you to kindly subscribe to my channel to keep supporting and encouraging me. All right, so we can see that it has installed successfully. So the next uh, logical step we have to do is to create or import the style in our application. So we will navigate to angular.json file. Oh, sorry, uh, to our style.css and we will add an import line. So the import, what we are trying to do is, we are trying to import a pre-built, predefined custom theme using which, which is what will be applied. So we will write the command at the rate import and we are telling that angular material, pre-built themes, import the theme which is indigo pink.css. So now all our styling will be based on indigo pink, but you can always change them here, double uh, deep purple and amber or whichever color theme you want. We can also create a custom theme that I'll cover it in some other tutorial. But for today, we need to do is import the, the theme that is pre-built. In this case, it is indigo pink.css. Now to make sure that it's successfully applied and it's running. I'm just gonna keep it simple for your learning. So I've just imported the mat checkbox. Again, we are not getting into the details of how to use it. We will keep it for the next tutorial. For now, the idea is to check that our Angular material is installed in our application and is running successfully. Let's just fire up this app and we should see that our app now should have the design of indigo and pink let is let it let's give a minute to build all right so once it's compiled go to your application and now we see that this is indigo pink you see here the color applied is indigo and pink so so now we know that this is how we have to install Angular material in our project. In the next tutorial, I'll start building some of the common components of Angular material in our Angular project. Stay tuned for that. And if you have any questions, any queries, drop in the comment section and I will be happy to help you. This is Angular material installation part one. In the next part, we will learn how to use the components. Thank you so much for joining in this tutorial. I'll see you in the next part.